Experimental design is the structured process of planning and conducting experiments to investigate relationships between variables. It involves controlling conditions, selecting participants or subjects, and measuring outcomes to test a hypothesis. A well-designed experiment ensures that the results are reliable and can be used to make conclusions about cause and effect relationships. By carefully setting up an experiment, researchers can minimise errors, reduce bias, and increase confidence in their findings. Experimental design is widely used in fields such as science, psychology, and medicine to study behaviours, treatments, and natural phenomena. Now let's look at the key characteristics of experimental design. Experimental design has several important characteristics that make it effective for testing hypotheses. One key feature is the use of independent and dependent variables, where the independent variable is manipulated to observe its effect on the dependent variable. Another characteristic is control, meaning that researchers keep other factors constant to ensure that only the independent variable is influencing the results. Random assignment is also a crucial element, as it ensures that participants are placed into different groups without bias, making the results more reliable. Additionally, experiments often include a control group, which does not receive the treatment, allowing for comparison with the experimental group. Now let's explore the benefits of experimental design. One of the biggest benefits of experimental design is its ability to establish cause and effect relationships. By controlling variables and manipulating only one factor at a time, researchers can determine whether a specific change directly influences an outcome. Experimental design also allows for replication, meaning that other scientists can repeat the study to verify the results. This makes findings more reliable and widely accepted. Additionally, experiments provide quantitative data, which can be analysed statistically to support conclusions. Because of these strengths, experimental design is considered one of the most rigorous methods for testing scientific theories. Now let's consider some limitations of experimental design. Despite its strengths, experimental design has some limitations. One challenge is that strict control over variables can make experiments artificial, meaning the results may not always apply to real-world situations. Another limitation is that ethical concerns may prevent researchers from testing certain hypotheses, especially in studies involving human behaviour or health. Additionally, experimental design can be time-consuming and expensive, requiring careful planning and resources to conduct properly. In some cases, it is difficult to control all outside factors, leading to potential errors or unexpected influences on the results. Now let's look at an alternative to experimental design. An alternative to experimental design is observational research, which involves studying subjects in their natural environment without manipulating any variables. This method is useful when conducting an experiment would be impractical or unethical. For example, Researchers studying human behaviour in public spaces may use observational methods to collect data without interfering. Observational research provides valuable insights but does not establish cause and effect relationships as clearly as experimental design. While both approaches have advantages, experimental design remains the best method for testing specific hypotheses in controlled conditions.